All right, the bread has risen. And if you look over here, I finished the cookies we were making earlier, and I said don't leave them in there too long because they'll get too brown. That's too brown. Um, but these are perfect. So, uh, a little trick I learned if you have um, cookies that are too brown or too hard, put some slices of bread in the container with them and they soften up. It's crazy. All right, let's do some pepperoni rolls. So the bread's big like this, so you punch it down and it just goes in there. This is a little bowl of vegetable oil I use because your hands need to be oily. And a little piece of the counter. So you pull it away, break off a piece that you can work with. It's still a little bit big. Oil it, tuck it, squish it. See, it's beautiful. And then what how I do this is I squeeze it up between my finger and my thumb and break off little balls. That's how I make hot rolls too. Uh, I make the balls a lot smaller for hot, hot rolls. So I break off however many balls this chunk of dough will give me. Try to try to get the smooth, you know, keep tucking it like you were. Don't ask me how big these balls are. I have no idea. All right. So we got our first piece and I flatten it, which takes a little bit of skill from what I've heard from my friends. I flatten it and, and then I just completely cover it with pepperoni. If you don't have very much pepperoni, don't use very much pepperoni. Uh, my people like pepperoni. You can do ham and cheese rolls, you can do turkey rolls. You can you can do whatever you want. You can make even little Reuben rolls. And then you have this little puppy. And you put it, this is the seam side where I pinched it together. Put it seam side down. So you go on to the next one. I use the ball of my hand and the whatever the bottom part of your hand is. I mean, I'm a nurse. I should know that, right? Not really. Palm. Anyway, then I kind of smash it on there. And I start rolling up about halfway through. I tuck in the sides, finish rolling up, and you have your little pepperoni bambino. So after you get all these made up, the ones that you want, I'm going to use half of this bread for pepperoni rolls. So I'm truly going to be in dough up to my armpits for a little bit. So after you get all these done, I am a fan of parchment paper. So this is what I'm lining them up on, a big cookie sheet, seam side down. Once you get your cookie sheet full, I just set mine on top of the stove because I have the oven heating up to 350 right now. Well, it's at 350 because I just made cookies. This is what I do on my day off. Cook. Um, okay, squish that together. I can usually get a dozen on one cookie sheet if you want to make smaller ones if you got little kids or you just want smaller ones make smaller ones i've made them like this for so long i don't i don't know if i could but everybody loves them these balls are a little bit big but that's all right if you want to put cheese in them I uh, suggest that you put the cheese down first and then the pepperoni because it just makes it easier to handle and you're going to have cheese everywhere anyway. That's pretty much why I don't do it. Plus, there's enough calories in this. Alright, so 
we're just going to keep doing this over and over. So watch for the next one.